Well, the sunshine and warmer temperatures have a lot of people in good moods. Yeah, but uh, this weather means work for local farmers. Many of them have to have their soybeans planted by now, but so far only 8% are planted across the entire state. Jesse Ritka reports from Sharon. Our cold, dreary, and wet spring is causing machinery to stand still at many farms across southeastern Wisconsin. It's just been difficult to get anything done. Soybeans sit idly in Mike Cerny's row planter, waiting to be put into the soil, a task that hasn't been easy. It's, uh, it's depressing when you have to sit in the house and watch it rain uh, for a long period of time, knowing that you've got an awful lot of work to do and the amount of time that you have to do it is decreasing all the time. Cerny usually has all of his planting done by early May, but 100 acres still lie empty. Because we just can't grow anything without sunshine and some warmth. Which we haven't had much of until now. So farmers are taking advantage and getting out in the fields again, though Cerny is only fertilizing his wheat crop today. It's too wet to go plant this morning. Some farmers are running into a different problem. The colder temps and heavy rains have caused the soil to crust and get extremely hard. If you can't get a screwdriver in the ground, you can imagine a plant trying to push its way through the soil surface. Some talk about having to replant the crop and we're late already. Now we'd have to start all over again. Which may end up costing everyone if seasonable temps and today's sun don't stick around. We need that weather to help hold down food prices. But Cerny remains optimistic. We can catch up and we can still have a really good crop, but some of the real top end yield potential I think has been eliminated because of the, the lateness of the planting. Mike hopes to have the rest of his fields planted by the end of the week thanks to the sunshine, the warmer temperatures, and this dry stretch. After that, it's still up to Mother Nature. In Sharon, Jesse Ritka, today's TMJ4.